shell shot. That's my fam, I'll hold them down forever. Us against the world, we can battle whoever. Together ain't no way we Hello everybody, hold on a second. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome to the I the first IPF battle. I'm so prepared. Um, so I'm post commentating this because I had to have it earlier today. I wasn't really ready for recording it, but um, before this, before I started this replay and do my post commentary, um, I have to say something about this match. Um, well, first of all, it was supposed to be against the San Diego Sceptiles. However, their coach last minute had to quit because of personal reasons. I don't know what they are. don't really care what they are. It's his personal life. But because of that, we had to find a replacement. And someone, we did find a replacement, took over their team. Now here's a, here's the thing is I didn't have the time to do because I I built my team according to the coach that I had before because I sort of knew what he was gonna do what he which Pokemon he was gonna pick and I built my team according to that and not according to the new guy but I didn't have time to build another team and he had to build another team, he had to build a team like super quickly so, uh, I didn't wanna you know, I didn't, I didn't wanna go through all that team building process for the same team twice in one week, you know so I just went in with the team that I had and um, <laughs> so basically you, you guys are about to see the end result so three, two, one. Uh, hold on. Okay. So I sent out my uh, expecting. Uh, so yeah. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going so by so fast. What the fuck? Pause. Pause. Normal. Actually slow. Okay. So. So here's the thing. I sent out, if you guys have seen my my team builder, I sent out my Sigilyph first, just in case he tried to set up rocks or anything, and I also had it ready to battle, but I decided to go for Magic Coat, because I thought he would set up rocks. He didn't do that, and I, uh, my Sigilyph was the first to go. So then I sent out Charizard Y. And what? And I tried to do be do, do use my dragon claw, do a physical attack on Gudra, and instead, realizing he brought a physical Gudra, ended up losing Charizard. So I was two Pokemon down. This wasn't good. I sent out Volcarona. And I managed to, to, to take out Gudra. Which was a good thing because it was definitely his bulkiest Mon. He sent in Garboder. I sent out. So I switched into Braviary which I affectionately named Piece of Crap. He used Rock Blast. I found out then how bulky this Braviary is because it's arrived at Rock Blast. And I used Zen Headbutt, which did massive damage, which I was really happy with. However, he toxic to me. And then he switched out into Spirit Tomb. Now I know what Spirit Tomb can do. I used that headbutt because I was I didn't predict him to switch. 
I probably I knew he was gonna switch, but I was just being sure because it's happened so many times. I used Brave Bird. And I I lived the psychic, but toxic. Oh shit, it's the wrong one. Hold on. Toxic. Right, so I used Sentin Volcarona. Used U turn. And you turned into Sniff the Florgus. I, at this point, I was like, I'm going to lose this battle. I just want to take out m like the max amount of Pokemon I can. So with Sniff, I used Green Dazzling Gleam and took out the Spirit Tomb. Which I was happy about, but here, here comes the part I wasn't so happy about. He sends out his Arcanine. He one shot Sniff. So I sent out my Volcarona, hoping I would somehow be faster. I wasn't, and Volcarona got one shot. I uh, had chestnut left one shot so that was the end of the battle uh, I lost 3-0 now there are a few reasons why I lost this battle and I know what they are and you know I, I'm saying at least it's not as bad as the IPF lost from last week where I stupidly let the guy set up but it's also it's also bad like I don't know what's wrong with me uh, if it weren't for Mega Beedrill I would have lost the first FTL match I lost the second FTL match because I did a stupid mistake and I was 100% sure he would attack when he just set up and then he scrapped half my team before I took him out. And this time I did a stupid mistake. I should have switched out should have switched out Charizard into Chestnut, who was built specifically to use Dragon Claw to take out Gudra, he would have done a lot more damage, and he would have probably, maybe if not one shot, two shot Gudra. That's for sure. And I would have been way in a way, way better. I would have been in a much better position after that because I would still have Charizard. Charizard literally would have he I don't he probably would have been able to take out the Excadrill because he would have outsped and fire and the Galvantula because he would have outsped and fire he I would have maybe been able to at least take take Arcanine down to a to a good amount of HP where if he would have flare blitzed he would have probably taken out either one or two Pokemon but he would have killed himself meaning Volcarona would not be dead and it would still be I would have made sure to keep it alive just to take care of that Garboder and we would have won but you know this you know I misplayed but it's also the fact that the coach switch and that I build a team for one person and not the other and not everybody has the same battle style but I can't do anything about it now a loss is a loss it's a 3-0 loss so in my book it's not that bad however um, he, he doesn't have a YouTube channel so I can't give you guys a link and tell you to check him out but um, all I have to say is what I told him after the battle is uh, I hope we meet in the playoffs so I can build the team for him and not for the guy he replaced. Um, 
so anyway with that said um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are rooting for me in both my leagues even though I just went to I just went two back to back losses in two different leagues um, but I mean you know I can still turn things around in both leagues and believe me I will pl I plan to do that so with that said um, I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>